Hey there bros, welcome to the channel. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how some people become millionaires while others don't. What is their secret? We may not be millionaires yet, but both of us are working on this goal to become millionaires in the next few years. As of December 2020, there were estimated to be almost 50 million millionaires in the world. So this path is not new. It has already been laid out before us to follow in our daily lives. So what we're doing in today's video is to break down five millionaire habits that we have adopted and that will also help you reach financial freedom. And don't say that most millionaires were born into wealth, because as it turns out, 88% of them are actually self-made millionaires. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the like and notification button to stay up to date with more of our content. Those who become millionaires or billionaires knew exactly what they wanted to achieve. There are certain habits that these people have developed, which were not inherited. Every single one of us dreams of becoming a millionaire, but how many do actually spend time in achieving the skills necessary for this outcome? People with high status are always setting up goals for themselves and more often than not achieve them. It is not that hard to do. And if you have never done this before, Try starting with small goals in the beginning and then set up a working plan to achieve that goal. When it comes to money, visualization plays a key part because you will start to understand that every decision you make influences your financial health. Every small thing, like buying coffee every day at Starbucks or using a taxi to work can influence your finances. Let's take some examples on the impact of saving and compounding interest to make things clearer. By saving just $100 a month, after five years, you'd have seven grand. And after 15 years, you'd have more than 30 grand. And if we take it a step further, after 30 years, you'd have about 120 grand. And you can do this just by changing your spending habits, like always using taxis, drinking lattes, or having an overpriced mobile phone subscription, or any other useless spending on things that you don't actually need. Building wealth is done in two steps earning more, but most importantly, by eliminating all unnecessary expenses. These are five steps to setting financial goals. You need to write everything down on a piece of paper, all that you want to achieve, all of your goals. Then copy it and put it everywhere in your house, in the bathroom, on the fridge, and so on. Your goals need to be smart. That is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. The SMART method helps push you further, gives you a sense of direction, and helps you organize and reach your goals. An example is, I need to save 20 grand for a down payment on a house in the next five years, and you should not be as vague as, I need to buy a house. You need to create a proper plan that you follow. For example, if you need 20 grand for a down payment, Set a plan where you can save $500 per month and stick to it. Discipline is very important when you want to be successful. You need to learn this trait. If you want to save money for a house, as mentioned earlier, you also have to give yourself a deadline for this goal. Remember, a plan without a deadline is just a dream. The last and most important thing is not to follow other people's dreams. Make sure that the goals you set are what you want actually to achieve in life and that they will ultimately make you happy. Even though we both have the same objective of becoming millionaire, the goal we set for ourselves on this path may not be the same. So if, for instance, he wishes to save money for a vacation in the Caribbean, it's not something that I will incorporate myself as a goal. If you want to become a millionaire, you have to do more or less the same things that they do. This means saving every penny that can be saved and not spending money for unnecessary things. After you saved enough money for your emergency fund, start investing in a portfolio that is diverse and can generate a good amount of passive income. Plus, if you have other income streams, you can use the DRIP strategy for your portfolio, where you reinvest your dividends and profits back into specific stocks. In this way, 
you'll profit massively from the effect of compounding interest. Another key aspect is that you need to stay away from liabilities. If you can't really afford it, don't buy jewelry or other things that can't generate money for you. If you live in a big house with three rooms but you are all by yourself or it's just you and your spouse, why not search for a smaller and cheaper place? Or you can transform a liability in an asset by renting those extra rooms so they will start generating an income. Jewelry, cars, expensive clothing are all just liabilities that drain away more of your hard-earned money. Yes, sometimes it is necessary, but think that once you bought your new shiny vehicle, its value will only go down from that point. Instead, an asset is something that can generate money for you. The key is to buy products that yield a consistent profit. Like the example we shared earlier, a house where you can live in but also rent out a room is a good example of such an asset. If you want to reach your goal of becoming a millionaire faster, you need to cut every spending you have that is not adding value to your life and instead invest in assets that have the potential to generate income for you, like stocks and real estate. Tell me who you spend time with and I will tell you who you are. This is a saying from Eastern Europe and it describes perfectly why it is important to have the right people around. We literally copy, although not consciously, the behavior of people we spend time with. So if your friends play video games all day, guess what you'll be doing? That is why it's extremely important to surround yourself only with people that you want to copy and learn something positive from. We're not saying video games are bad, we both love video games, but we adhere to a strict schedule where we incorporated a dedicated time for this activity. The reason why millionaires have mostly rich friends is because they have the same mindset and they understand each other. You and I are literally the product of our surroundings and the people we spend time with. Take a step back and look at your circle of friends. Is it really where you want to be? Toxic friends are draining because it takes a lot of time and effort to deal with what is going on in their personal life. They may not have your best interest in mind. If you want to grow and improve your life, you have to develop new friendships with people that have the same goals and mentality as you. It may be hard to let go of old friendships, but if they aren't beneficial, then it is time to make a change. If you want to succeed in life in every regard and every aspect, you have to continuously keep learning and acquire new skills. Your body is your temple, so if you treat it with quality food and exercise, it will become stronger. The same goes for your mind. You have to feed it every single day in order for you to become better than the day you were before. And it doesn't matter if the change is very small. As long as you make progress every day, you are building your path to success. You have to constantly grow and learn and push yourself to the limits. And if you want to get scientific, keep in mind that learning also slows down the aging process. Every millionaire and billionaire out there didn't stop learning or managing their businesses. Every single one is working long hours and they are very happy with their lives. Mindset and visualization are everything and they are all living proof of it. Moreover, limit your time spent for entertainment. Studies show that people who earn more spend less time on TV and social media than those that earn less. So for example, 89% of households that earn under 50 grand watch at least one reality TV show on a regular basis compared to only 12% of those from households with income above 150 grand. Check out more information in the article linked in the description below. And now for what we consider to be the most important trait that all millionaires adopt. The reality is that our mindset will determine almost all aspects of our life. You know that saying that good thoughts attract good things? If you have a positive and optimistic personality, then things you undertake will most likely have a positive outcome. The same goes for negativity. The outcome will always match your mindset. And this is crucial when it comes to finances as well. The more positive you are, the more likely it is that you will succeed. Visualization is a key tool that anybody can use in order to improve every aspect of their lives. And this is actually scientifically proven. Let's dive more into this. We said earlier in our video that millionaires have the habit of continuously learning, and so do we. TED Talks are one place where we love learning new and interesting things. 
we recommend checking out the video of Blaine Olkers, who is a graduate of Prude University and Stanford University's Entrepreneurship Program, where he talks about unlocking the screen of your mind. You can find more linked in the description below. In just a few words, he discusses about how our brain has a network of neurons that act like a filter system. It allows information that we input in our brains to be absorbed, while other bits that are deemed useless are blocked. This is very important because without it, we wouldn't be able to survive. Imagine remembering everything you did your whole life. It would turn each and every one of us crazy. Let's take an example so you understand how visualization works. If you think and really believe that nobody likes you at work, your filter system will continuously look for evidence that prove that point. No matter what, your filter will always try to confirm whatever you believe in, no matter if it's true or false. So, your brain can't actually tell the difference between the bad things that are actually happening to you and the things that you only imagine. But there is something powerful that everyone can do. You just have to close your eyes for 30 seconds every day and visualize what you want to become. After that, think of all the positive emotions that you can feel while doing the things that you want to do. You're going to feel happy, proud, grateful for making the change. If you visualize what you want to be in life, but really do it every day, then you will be on the right path of making a significant and positive change in your life. This is why I made the habit that every morning when I wake up, I get a glass of water first, remember, hydration is important, and spend the next five minutes visualizing the activities that I have planned for the day, how I will accomplish them, and what that will make me feel like. So, in conclusion, if you're not happy with your life and you struggle with your finances, maybe it's more than just bad luck. You need to spend as much time as possible following your dreams by visualizing them every day for at least 30 seconds and thinking of what are the next steps towards achieving them. Write down every single one of your spending and try to assess where you can save money. On average, Americans tend to spend close to 50% of their income on unnecessary things such as coffee at the local Starbucks or going out to eat on a regular basis. Visualize your goals, set a plan and execute it. If you really want to do this, there is no better feeling in the world than the moment when you actually succeed and realize that one of your goals was reached. Hey guys, you know that more than 50% of our viewers are not actually subscribed to our channel? Subscribing is free. Just take the time and click over there. And share it with your friends, why don't you?